friends, welcome to another episode. This is one that I've been dreading doing because it's about downsizing. So anybody who knows me knows that I don't like throwing things away um, or getting rid of stuff. Um, so it's a little bit sad because I've lived in this house for about 26 years, raised my kids here, um, and I've accumulated lots of things that uh, a sentimental um, but the reality is that we are going to have to downsize and get rid of a lot of things fortunately for us um, my children are or adult their kid olds are going to be um, moving in and so that means that I don't have to get rid of absolutely everything I can sort of leave one or two boxes of precious things um, around but there's still a lot of stuff that um, it's just not going to be practical to take in the motorhome so uh, I decided to make an episode about the downsizing and this is going to take quite a few months to do so apologies in advance that this episode will be probably be a little bit disjointed but um, hopefully uh, you know, we can gain some knowledge and, and, uh, blah, 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 blah. does that make sense? Good. What I'm thinking is there's several ways that I can downsize. I can donate the things that, you know, really aren't worth selling, but they're still, you know, in, in good condition. Things like, um, clothes and kitchenware, that sort of thing, um, I think there's also things that I could probably sell in a garage sale. So things that have got a price tag of, you know, $5, $10, $20, um, but really aren't worth the effort of, say, putting on Facebook Marketplace. Now, garage sale scares the bejesus out of me because I've never done one before, but I think that's something that's going to have to happen. So then there's the things that I could put on Facebook Marketplace, which are items that have probably got a bit more value. So you know, around the $50, $100 mark. So the money that I make from downsizing, selling these these items, household items, uh, uh, the, the cash is going to go into a travel kitty that's going to assist us on our travels. It's important to have cash on hand, uh, so we've heard when we're traveling, uh, for things like laundromats, roadside stalls, markets. In some remote places, if the internet goes down, uh, then so do the ATMs. Um, so we have heard of people being stuck in remote towns. Uh, the internet's gone down. They need fuel to get to their next stop and they can't buy it. So they're stuck there for a couple of days until it comes back up again. Um, so that's something that we're, we're going to try and avoid by having cash on hand. In that case, the, the money that we make um, from from the downsizing of the household items are going into the travel kitty. This is the travel kitty. This is Trevor. And hopefully by the end of this video, Trevor will be stuffed full of cash. Um, but I'm, I'm going to keep a tally of how much I can make. So, so follow along and uh, let's see how we go. This is the first item that I'm going to put up on Facebook Marketplace. It's a, not the dog. He's happy quite there. Hunt your tongue. Okay, that's it there. It's a framed Brett Whiteley print. I have seen there are um, another two that are on Marketplace. Um, one of them I think is going for about $200. The other one I think is about $150. Um, although it's in a smaller frame, it's been professionally framed. I love this picture um, and I hate to get rid of it, but I'm going to have to. So what I might think I might do, I'll put it on Marketplace. I might put it on for 120 and I'd probably accept 100. So let's see how we go. So just checking in again, folks, I sold the Brett Whiteley uh, print. Got the $120 that I was asking for. Luckily enough, uh, there was a Brett Whiteley exhibition at our local art gallery. So the lady who purchased the print had just been to the um, exhibition. So that was really, really good. 
Um, the next thing that I sold, which was really exciting, was a stack of old vinyl records that I took to Rockaway Records at Carindale. Um, they purchase old band memorabilia, vinyls, t-shirts, CDs, um, that sort of thing. Um, I'll put a picture of the records right here. I took them in and they offered me $395 for them. So I snapped that up. I was willing to take 300. Um, I know that some of the records in that um, stack were probably worth more than what I got, but I really didn't want to just stuff around on Marketplace and wait for people um, because I've got so much stuff that I have to sell. Uh, and it's just so time consuming. So there it is. So we've got a whopping $515 for our travel kitty from just two items. I'm so excited now to see where this goes. So I'm scouting around for some more things that uh, I want to sell on Marketplace. Um, I've got here a, I don't know whether you can see that. That's an original watercolor. Um, not too sure how much it's worth, but I'm going to have to do some research into that. Research showed that Cinderella's works fetch anywhere from $100 to $1,000 at auction, depending on the medium and the subject matter. And if I head on outside, um, I think I've got a few things out here that we can sell. So, let's have a look. We're probably going to sell the um, Weber barbecues, but I've got a patio heater um, that we haven't, it's only been used about once or twice. So I think we'll probably um, clean that up and pop that on. And also I've got, um, there we go, the slump bowl. That's gonna need some cleaning up. I'll take the plant out of it and I'll clean up the base. And I think I might um, put a clear estopol on the base and then I'll pop that on Marketplace and see how that goes. So check this out, folks. The slump bowl has cleaned up beautifully and the clear coat has really made the wood pop. So it's looking really nice. Um, so... I'm thinking that I'll put it on Marketplace. I think $50 is probably fair. What do you think? Um, and we'll see how we go. I've also discovered that our local drive-in theatre has monthly car boot sales. So I'm going to give that a try. I've put my name down for one in September. And uh, I just think it might be a, a, a better introduction to... Uh, to see how things sell rather than going straight into a garage sale. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. So I just sold the watercolor painting and I got the full $250 that I wanted for it. So that's really exciting. There's some more money for Trevor. He's happy, he's got a very full belly now. Thanks for watching folks. Clearly this process is going to take a lot longer than what I thought. Uh, we are still about 10 months out from having to go full time on the road. So what I'm going to do is do some of these downsizing episodes. I'll put them up midweek. So we still do our weekend adventures, but these housekeeping type ones, I think I'll put them up on a Wednesday um, not every Wednesday, but just as uh, things progress and I can sell a few more items. We'll keep a tally, see how we go. So I think the next episode I'll do is uh, the lead up to the car boot sale. I'll show you guys all the items that I'm going to take with me. I'll take some footage while I'm there and then I'll report back on the total of how much I made. So that I'm really looking forward to because I think I can get rid of a lot of stuff like old books and uh, DVDs and, and that sort of thing. So thanks again for joining me. 
please comment. We love it when we get comments. It's so encouraging and we just hope that we're helping some people on their road to uh, doing the same thing that we're doing and, and downsizing, getting on the road full time in your new motorhome. Ciao for now.